What's going on, YouTube? Unfortunately, this is the third time I had to upload this video because I had like some music in the background. I don't know why I had the radio on when I was recording this video. So I got a copyright claim, but I took it down twice. I fixed the problem now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And so in this video, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to take down all three rocket leaders, Cliff, Sierra, and Arlo. And after I defeat them, I will get Shadow Articuno, Shadow Moltres, Shadow Zapdos. Now, this is day two of GoFest 2020. And after I defeat all three Go Rocket Leaders, I'm going to face Giovanni and take down his Shadow Mewtwo, claim Shadow Mewtwo, and then get the, finish the research, grab Victini. And at the end, I will show you all the shinies I got during both days of GoFest. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk about this. Uh, I just went with what Poke Battler recommended to take down these... Po these uh, Team Go Rocket leaders, not knowing their movesets, because I just went in blind. I tried to get this done as quickly as possible. So let me know in the comments below, how did your GoFest go? I know I asked this the last two times I uploaded, but um, I, it was just so hectic because I was trying to get this video out before GoFest ed uh, ended. And then I got the copyright claim, but I was like, I can't really fix it because I need to uh, I need to grind. I, wanna, I don't want to make the most out of GoFest. So then I... Uploaded it again last night, and I still had the copyright claim, but I need to go to a, like a laptop or something to or a computer to fix it. And all I had was my phone at the time, so but I did fix it this morning. So I apologize for the inconvenience. Hopefully, you guys still enjoy this video. So let's focus now on this video. So Titar is taking down Bellum. Took it down real quick. Now this Titar needs Stone Edge. I'm I'm about to add, give it Stone Edge here soon. I talked about this before, but this, uh, I should have swapped T-Tar for Rhyperior right away. Rhyperior could have, see, I thought about it there, but I didn't go through it. Rhyperior could have taken down both, which legendary she had, Moltres? Yeah, it could have taken down her Houndoom and her Moltres pretty easily. But I was just trying to get the shields ready, uh, I don't know. So, there we go. Now here comes Rhyperior, which is going to take down Zapdos pretty easily. Now, they did nerf these Go Rocket Leaders. They're usually much tougher than this. But they have to because there's just everyone playing Go Fest. Niantic made so much money off of this event. And Kaito and I talked about that. She thought that $15 was too much. And I kind of agree with her. I think maybe $10 would have been fine because everyone played it. Like, everyone from my local chats, they all played. It's like they made so much money this year. It's ridiculous. But anyway, let's continue. So, Restaurant, my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorites. Was recommended here with Draco Meteor, which was kind of weird. But I just wanted to get this done quick. And yeah, this is going to take down Scizor very quick. And then I probably should have just left it mold against Moltres. It's lagging there a bit. I don't, I don't know why. But there we go. Forgive me for the lag. And then this Regirock with um, Lockdown is pretty good. I rarely get to use it in Wrist and Peace, Registeel, and Ultra League. It got nerfed. It's uh, Focus Blast and Flash Cannon. So I'm going to have to adapt my team because I loved using... I never used Registeel in Great League. I only used it in Ultra League. All right. There we go. We finished off all team go rocket leaders and now we're gonna go capture those birds but first we gotta catch this shadow my wow here in a few seconds there's shadow my wow okay first ball easy look you can see the clock there it was uh, what 10 30 when i was recording this video so the event started right at 10 okay shadow moltres i tried to pineapple and I shouldn't have. I was being greedy, even though I don't need Moltres candy. Now, Articuno, I do need candies for. I just wish Articuno was slightly better. I have one Max, then one. I made one for Ultra League, and I love it in Ultra League. It's really good. I probably will still keep Articuno in my Ultra League team. I just build around it. Because I had, like, my go-to team was, like, Registeel lead with Armored Mewtwo and Articuno, and I... I always did pretty well in Ultra League. So, unfortunately, I'll probably stick with Articuno and change it up there. 
So I switched to Golden Raz on Moltres, and I'm going to catch it here soon. Bam. Great throw. Is that it? Is that it? No, it breaks out. <sighs> now, this. let's wait and see what the IVs are. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I catch it here. Yes. All right. What were the IVs for my Moltres? And 13, 10, 14. So if I purified it, it'd be okay. Maybe I'll consider that. Because my Moltres team is not the best. All right, now Articuno. Pretty easy first throw catch. Now let's check out those IVs on Articuno. 12, 13, 15. So it would, it'd be okay if I purify it. Now here comes Shapdos, my team bird. I kind of wish they would make these shadow Pokemon raid bosses. It'd be much more fun to take them down. But I guess this is just the way we're going to have to deal with them. Okay. So Shadow Zapdos is... 12, 10, 13. Not, the, not, not so good. So we claim this research. Get that super rocket radar. And where's Giovanni? Okay, okay. Skip, skim through all this. First, I run into Cliff. I remember this. Yeah. We're not beating you up again, Cliff. Where's Giovanni? Here he is. All right, so I went with Dialga, Lee, Giratina, and Gyarados. Apparently, Dialga is good against Persian. I guess cause just because its moves don't hurt at all. But I just tried to take it down just with Dragon Breath. But it did do a chunk of damage on me. And then Iron Head, his next Pokemon, I didn't even know what it was. I'm just like, just throw this Iron Head, bait the shield out. Sand Slash. I should have known those signs. I did research before I did this, took these down. I actually did the research the night before because luckily we're not like Australia who get got everything first. And New Zealand, Japan, they get they got everything pretty early. So we kind of knew what to expect. All right. Uh, I didn't shield here. No need to. I'd rather save my shields from you too. I think if it wasn't GoFest, Giovanni would have been pretty tough to take down. With that Shadow Mewtwo... Maybe its CP would have been higher. I don't know. But my one Shadow Ball will take him down. And that's it. I got the Shadow Mewtwo, which looks amazing. Look at it. And it really caught me off guard. Whenever people were saying, we're getting Shadow Mewtwo, I was like shocked. I was like, I didn't believe it. Someone shared a picture when I was still playing day one. And I was like, really? I thought we were just getting Victini tomorrow. We're getting Shadow Mewtwo also. And I've talked about this, but like I, um, I think this event would have been much more amazing had like this whole global pandemic didn't happen, and we actually got to go to Chicago and do it. That would have been great, but uh, there's always next year. Hopefully, we'll have a normal Go Fest next year. But look at the way this thing looks. I I know I I can't wait to max this out. I don't know how many candies is gonna cost me. I don't want to dump rare candy though. Huh, looks like I forgot to throw how to throw against Mewtwo right there. He breaks out. But then I remembered I have to wait for its tail to move. Bam. Excellent throw. Oh, broke out. Good jump in Mewtwo. And there we go. I think I caught it here, maybe. And I did. Now, let's see those IVs. 12, 12, 11. Not the best, but uh, I'll, it, Shadow Mewtwo is so good. And I think the cap is 10, 10, 10 is the cap for Shadow Mewtwo. So even if you get the worst one, it's still amazing. You still should keep it and not purify it. Unless the only people I would consider purifying is if you get a perfect IV, like a 13, 13, 13, maybe. But then I think you need like an elite charge team to make it worth it. So I personally would just keep it as a shadow Mewtwo. Normal Mewtwo will be back multiple times. You have a chance to get a good one there. Okay. 
bam, this big teeny, which I will max eventually. Let's look at what it looks like. I do like the way it looks. 13, 14, 14, nah. This one's actually not that bad. Just his attack stat is so low, but for... It's better than some of my other... My mythical luck is not so good. Like, Kaito, finally, her streak of 98% broke, but she still got an attack 15. It's like crazy. So, her mythical luck is way better than mine. So, this is just a... You have to complete this to get the shirt. Anyways, I'm going to end this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And here's a, just to show you guys all the shinies I got. So... Sorry for the inconvenience about having to re-upload this three times. I still hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I'll see everyone next time. And here's the shinies. 32 shinies from GoFest. And also, let me know in the comments below, how was your GoFest? Bye, everyone.